Are you having trouble web scraping on LinkedIn? Does passcode not work anymore because of the way LinkedIn structures its CSS and div tags? Are you tired of being unable to locate your elements by CSS selector? Well, let me show you how to use Selenium and Beautiful Soup to solve your web scraping problems and fix your life. Let's say we have a LinkedIn page like so. We want to get their name, their title, maybe where they worked, but most importantly, we probably want to get the experience as well as maybe education, skills, licenses, all this cool stuff. First things first, you want to download Chrome WebDriver onto your computer, and you're going to get some kind of exe file, and which you're then going to put into some directory on your computer. Then you're going to make a, you're going to get the path to that same directory, and then you're going to do WebDriver.Chrome of that path. That's after you import WebDriver from Selenium as well as importing Beautiful Soup. Then, once you've imported all of that, you do driver.get, and this is going to get the actual website page. Let's run it for here. And it's going to pop up LinkedIn. It's going to sign in to my account right there. And now we're, it's going to go. And so, once you've signed in and you've gotten all that previous code, you're then gonna start to find some issues by using uh, driver.findElement. For example, if I wanna do inspect here, and let's say I wanna get, uh, hold on, let's actually show all experiences. I did not know this URL existed until a week ago. How cool is this? But even this page, like if you wanna, I guess, select the profile here, get the list, you see these weird class names as well as weird ID names. These are all individual. This class name is actually pretty consistent, but that doesn't, doesn't work for some reason. This ID right here is also changes. It's unique for every profile, so you can't use that in terms of finding element by ID or class selector. So the traditional methods of web scraping using beautiful soup after you get the actual HTML page after going on the tab via Selenium does not work as you can see by this weird CSS. So if I want to actually get the name of something, you scroll down here, you can get the URL, but that's not as useful to us. We want to get the name. So let's go here, UL, UI, UL. Does not, like you can see how difficult this is. And that's because LinkedIn doesn't want you to web scrape. They actually lost a lawsuit to a company that tried to, they sued the company and they lost it on the grounds that this is public information. So. What do we do? What do we do against this monstrosity? Well, it's actually quite simple. We uh, we go on Beautiful Soup. Let me find it right here. So we use Beautiful Soup. We get the page source. Once you've uh, gotten onto the Experiences tab, uh, this is some uh, Beautiful Soup. You basically use Find and Find All from Beautiful Soup. So this is the info name and the title. I'm using this code for a research project. I'll publish it probably in a month or two from this video because I'm still using it. Maybe in a format in terms of an object that's useful to you that you can use for scraping for other projects. But what you do is you want to use this find all and you're specifically looking for those list objects right here. Where is it? Right here. So this these list objects you're going to look for. And I guess this this one does work. but you want to use the class name itself. And then once you get all those experiences, you then are going to call dot get text. And this is the key. The dot get text is basically just going to get the text from the website. And I'll show you in a second, but after it, I'm not going to show you my login after it gets on here and it's going to go to another profile in three, two, one it actually goes to a company page. Uh, that's actually very similar. It's just going through there. But okay, once it gets on the same dude's profile, you're going to see on the console, it's going to output some weird looking this, this looking thing. Well, if you notice that all these titles, these, these positions, after the first 16 spaces, that indicates and is directly correlated with a pos experience right here. And if you look at 12 spaces, these are after 12 spaces from the start directly correlate with the skills tab. You can see team leadership, public speaking, Spanish, uh, team leadership, public speaking and Spanish like so. So you want to go through these and it's actually not that difficult to do so. 
you just basically have to count it. So for example, after 16 spaces, then you have an experience. And then after you find your experience, you then check the spaces between each thing. So for a normal experience, you have three spaces before the comp between the company and then two spaces after the company for the duration. And then if you do have a location, you do two spaces and then the location itself. Another type of uh, another type of thing is where you have this like bulleted nest type thing. And so to deal with that, what you have to do, and to deal with that, uh, I made a separate function for that. I basically said if it's 21, 22, 25, or 26 spaces between, then you, you kind of split them up into their own chunks. Once you got those chunks, you then have to loop through each of them and then do kind of a similar spacing as you did for the normal type of job. And the same thing kind of applies for education, responses, all that, all of those stuff. And that's really how you web scrape on LinkedIn. Uh, I'll, again, I'm gonna publish this code probably a month or two from now after I'm done this research. But yeah, I hope you found this video useful and I hope that this solves your LinkedIn web scraping headaches because I know I had a lot of head banging trying to get this to work. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you some other time. Peace.